Okay, so how do we calculate work done? Work done is F times delta S, right? So if uh, the force is constant, then it's just a very simple product. But uh, in this question, force is obviously not constant. So we have to calculate the area under the FD graph in order to get the work done. So the area for this rectangle, trapezium, rectangle and trapezium are 5, 12.5, 20 and 10 joules respectively. Huh? That means uh, at a distance of 1 meter, the amount of work done by the force should be just 5 joules. So we have one data point here, 5 joules. At a distance of 2 meters, the total work done would be 5 plus 12.5, 17.5. So we get another data point here. So at 3 meters, the total work done will be um, 25 plus 12.5, that's 37.5. And lastly, at 4 meters, the total work done will be um, 47.5. So it's, a, it's accumulative because the work done by the force just keeps increasing from 5 to 17.5 to uh, 37.5, 47.5. So now you have these four data points, right? So we got to join, join. We got to join the curve, of course. So uh, during this segment here, because the force is constant, so we are doing work at a constant rate. If you do work at a constant rate, the work uh, should increase linearly. Same here. Same here. You are doing work at a, with a larger constant force, so it's a constant rate. So it's a straight line. Of course, this gradient is sharper than this gradient because you are doing uh, work at a faster rate compared to here. But it's, a con it's at a constant rate. That's why these two are straight line segments. The more troublesome ones are here and here because the force is not constant. So you are, uh, along this segment, you are doing work at a faster and faster rate because the force is increasing, right? So you are doing work at a faster and faster rate. So the curve you draw here should show a steeper and steeper gradient. The opposite happens here. So you are doing work at a slower and slower rate as the force decreases. So the curve you draw here should show a, uh, a gradient that becomes flatter and flatter. Alright, so first calculate the accumulative work done. You've got the four data points work out which should be the straight line segments and which should be the curves. Um, one final thing, you should make sure that the, the line you draw joins up smoothly. There should not be any abrupt change in the gradient. So especially going here to here, for example, is smooth. Huh? Here to here is also smooth. It mustn't be kinky like, like the, the graph here goes like this. Huh? So you, there mustn't be any abrupt changes in the gradient. Okay, that's it. Ta-ta!